Hi, welcome to the Oak Trader Report on the 26th of Jan 2014. Just thought I'd cover a few charts of the Norwegian Krone. Had quite a few emails in in the last couple of months, and you probably all noticed the change on the website in terms of the page about the Investment Norway network that we're looking to set up over there sometime in the next couple of months. So we've just taken a look at the currency here with a couple of USD charts as well and there's going to be another part as well of the Oak Trader report being uploaded soon. If you draw a line down here you can clearly see uh, the downtrend has been broken and these points here there looks to be a pivot here where there's been a lot of buying at these particular points and at the moment I feel that this market is going to move much higher uh, from where it is now. I mean of course if there's some type of intervention or some type of money printing we'll see it move lower but in the natural course of events I'm very confident that this market's going to move much higher from here over the next six months and then at that particular juncture I'll have to reevaluate. but I do believe the US dollar is going to be very bullish against the Norwegian Krone for at least six months uh, to a year possibly two years and that's a great time to use those dollars that I feel will be overvalued against the Norwegian Krone eventually uh, to purchase perhaps assets in Norway that yield a dividend in Norwegian Krone as a safe haven investment it makes a lot of sense and I can see uh, why some very smart investors have began that process. But again here, um, you know, I don't think it's the perfect time just yet to be moving your money out of US dollars into Krone. Maybe in about another three to six months when the market's up around the 6.60 level, 6.70 I'll reevaluate. But that looks to be about uh, the price that it could easily rise to and here on the monthly chart uh, that would be just about here and you can see uh, from previous moves uh, what's happened in the past um, big move up the US dollar and it's had a huge move down from 2001 all the way down to there let me just flick back and you can see it's uh, reached a bottom here and it's began to, to base here and these are my two pivotal points I can see the market edging higher and if you look at this particular action here I think it's squeezing into a, a triangle and the probabilities I believe is that the US dollar is going to gain significantly against the Norwegian Krone and as I uh, just to reiterate again uh, timing and trying to get that right is always very difficult in the market but I think it would be a good time perhaps in about six months time to a year uh, time frame to use those overvalued dollars to invest into the Norwegian Krone and take advantage of longer term trends perhaps you know 20 30 year trends rather than a year or two British pound against the Norwegian Krone huge downtrend again following the dollar pattern similar type of money printing going on in Great Britain, the United Kingdom, I'm not even sure what to call my country. Um, we don't really know ourselves um, on our passports, it's the United Kingdom, but uh, whether we're termed as Britain, Great Britain, English, none of us are that sure anymore. Um, but if you look at the longer term downtrend, you know, around the 11 mark, um, you know, that could be the turning point for it to come back down again. So I think here that th this will be an important action level around the 11 to 12 mark. And if the market keeps going, it should have another parabolic spike upwards. The pound will gain against the krone, I would suspect. And I would suspect also that it would settle between, say, 11 to 12. And that's where perhaps in about a year to a year and a half, I would assume that it would uh, begin the downward process again. But always... It you know, as I've reiterated before, price action uh, will always be my final judge. Canadian dollar, Norwegian krone, not a market I'm particularly sure about. It's like a commodity currency versus a commodity currency in some ways. Um, but I do believe um, in using pivotal points as, as judgment areas. So 
to draw a line between these points here and these points and then these points up here and on the breakout you know with a little bit of time outside of these long term ranges long term consolidation areas we should see a significant trend develop I would assume with the um, housing issues that Canada's got um, and that they've yet to come to the surface um, even though it's a great long term bet for the future I think there could be a few problems in Canada I'm very positive on the US dollar versus the Canadian um, but with the crone I, I, I'm waiting for more price action to develop to make a more of a, an authoritative um, prediction Australian dollar you can see the large uptrend against the crone being broken uh, the Australian dollars lost a lot of value against uh, a lot of different currencies it's been affected by the downturn um, in the commodity markets more so than say Norway because Australia I believe their percentage of economy is more based towards commodities than uh, the Norwegian economy but you can see here that a downtrend looks to have developed uh, and again when that happens sometimes we'll get the downtrend fooling the trend followers and that's where we could see it come out of that downtrend and then restart the downtrend again but it definitely looks like it started a downtrend here with a trend but just be wary about it breaking the trend line and following the trends too closely euro versus the crone you can see here the big spike up during the financial crisis the euro gaining against the crone um, the rationale there because everyone always tries to you know make a reason for for certain moves and for why people do certain things during times of panic but a lot of the, a lot of the times these types of movements you see in currencies um, is actually a signal of the health of say the European economy these large spikes in in prices the euro versus the crone are people being told to pull back their loans uh, banks are telling companies right that's it it's time to pull back a loan and that's where they have to cash out of crone and into euros and that uh, obviously sends the euro skyrocketing but it's actually a sign of a very unhealthy euro economy when you see spikes like this um, because it's a sign of ill health uh, with the banks and the companies and the banks are calling in the loans and that's why you see these four spikes and as things uh, return to normal the trends develop and I would suspect that we'd probably see some sort of spike here parabolic move before this upward trend uh, is over um, but it looks to um, not be near completion but be in the latter stages uh, let's say so just seeing where price action develops but I can see the euro moving up to perhaps around the 880 level here where my mouse is over the next few months and then we should see a little bit of distribution where my mouse is like we saw here it won't be as significant I, I don't believe as here but there should be some clues that the markets turning back around and um, the crone will once again gain against the euro but for the time being the euro over the next few months looks pretty good against the crone and this move here should end with a little bit of a parabolic spike like we've seen here Japanese yen versus the Norwegian krone this particular part of the action during 2012 is when the Japanese started playing with their currency even more than they have and they took a leaf out of what the Americans have done and the British and other countries throughout history and uh, they increased their money supply and you can see what it did to their currency uh, here it's another area of consolidation developing I wouldn't call this a base area yet you could say that the downtrend had been broken here um, but usually with these types of longer term trend moves the downtrend being broken um, the first downtrend being broken is usually a signal for me anyway that the market is going to continue on uh, down so the Japanese yen uh, will continue to lose against the crone so that's you know something I wouldn't trade off because again I'd be looking at this range and looking for pivotal points and when it breaks out of that range on the longer term then I believe uh, the market will carry on with that trend for a while 
um, but a lot of Japanese people I know in Hong Kong that I mix with um, a lot of them have been talking about getting out of their yen holdings and diversifying internationally I mean the Japanese have been diversifying internationally in Queensland Australia back in the 70s and 80s Los Angeles in the 80s and 90s uh, London as well uh, where um, where where they're worried is obviously the same as American investors are worried about the overprinting of their currency and a lot of Japanese as you know are keen fish eaters and a lot of them are putting together syndicates and consortiums to invest into Norway because they can own the land they can own businesses and they like uh, fish farming based businesses as well so expect even more yen to be cashed into krone over the next uh, year to two years as Japanese investors that are in the higher echelon of investment of the investment sphere start cashing out even more yen uh, simply because uh, they're getting very worried now about what their government's up to and we should see a little bit more of a trend develop and I would suspect that this this market here will carry on down um, but again price action I'm waiting for that to confirm any sort of opinion US dollar versus the Chinese yuan uh, renminbi huge downtrend price manipulated market central bank uh, control or it's under their control not necessarily it will be forever um, but it is at the moment and you can see during the crisis that the price steadied out but you can see it continued on down as American stocks have moved up the Chinese currency is getting stronger as China moves from an export based economy to a more consumer based economy um, a lot of people think this is a one way trade I happen to think at some point there's going to be an almighty spike um, and the US dollar will gain significantly against the Chinese yuan perhaps in the next six months um, again here the downtrends in effect so I wouldn't be uh, placing that bet now maybe a few longer term options I would consider buying maybe six months to nine months out although the premiums are quite expensive for those types of options um, sometimes you know a, a little bit a little bit of an insurance policy is always wise um, it depends on where your currency holdings are but for me I you know I'd like to arbitrage that a little bit or at least uh, hedge hedge the market maybe arbitrage is the wrong word because I won't be paying attention to it on a on a uh, hourly or daily basis um, but again I would suspect some sort of shock coming um, why um, it could be a multitude of reasons but the wind doesn't blow in one direction forever and the Chinese um, the markets looking pretty nice it's shaping up nicely but it usually ends with some sort of panic or crisis and that's where we may see the US dollar gain significant against the yuan when uh, the panic is revealed if indeed there is a panic or some type of huge sell-off in China I mean there wouldn't be a huge sell-off in terms of percentage gains on the market uh, because it's already pretty pretty low already it's significantly lower uh, than many markets around the world and it's been developing good base action for a while uh, sorry about all that noise that's the security guard dogs in the garden going uh, crazy as someone comes up the drive um, okay just moving on to the next chart the US dollar versus the Korean won um, you can see here again during the crisis the big spike up in the value of the dollar again that's uh, companies being told by their bankers to pull back their loans to pull back their investments um, because their share prices have dropped or their assets have dropped below the loan value it could be a multitude of reasons bankers are always very smart in these types of contracts but they tend to um, increase their callbacks during crisis periods and that's why you get these huge spikes in currency uh, prices and um, you see these wild swings as well and the trend has continued down but I wouldn't be surprised here if you look at this pivotal point one two three looks like it's developing a triple bottom here um, again it doesn't look great but if you draw a line here where my mouse is along here if it breaks above that and closes a, at the 1150 level um, I would be pretty posit positive uh, on the USD to gain against the Korean one 
over the next six months to a year I can see the US dollar um, moving significantly higher if it indeed can break this uh, gradual downtrend here. The market doesn't look fantastic, um, it's quite wild in a way, uh, not as nice as the price action was back here, um, but again I can see this market uh, moving higher from here, but the price action will hold me back. I need to see a little bit more price action before I develop um, any sort of larger position in this particular market. USD versus the Swedish Krona, the neighbour of Norway, capital, Stockholm, looking pretty much like the US dollar index chart here, big downtrends being broken, the big spike up with the panic and then it's developing I believe into a very nice looking triangle here uh, which depended on obviously what Yellen decides to do. I think if we just keep the status quo we will see the US dollar gain significantly against the Krona and move up to around uh, the 7, 750 level here. Um, but again just waiting for price action to develop I'm quite positive that this market will uh, the USD will gain in strength against the Krona. Just waiting for a few of these gradual downtrends uh, to be broken so I don't get tricked into uh, a longer term position. So I'm just watching this market here but I'm pretty positive the market's looking good for a rise up in the next six months to a year. Okay that's it for now. I look forward to uploading part two very soon. Um, any questions at all please email admin and Kemp will pass on any messages to me as well. Okay, hope you all had a good weekend and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.